So for tonight's practice, I would like you to start off in a seated pose. You can start off in an easy pose. Try not to let the ankles cross on top of each other. Try to let the legs lie. And then slowly push yourself back so your spine is nice and tall and long. And let's come into this practice just first off with three deep cycles of breath, no judgment, just as it is. So full inhale in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Full inhale in. And exhale. All right, with this next breath cycle, maybe do a seated cow where you bring the sternum forward and look up. And then a seated cat rounding the back. Maybe just do a few more just to move the spine around. And then after you've completed this next round, try to sit back up nice and tall. So you have a little movement going in the spine, kind of know to bring the belly button in or you felt it come in just a little bit. Sternum is nice and tall, shoulders are dropping down and away from the ears and the ears are in line with the shoulders. Great, all right. As you inhale, root down through the sit bones, draw the inhale up the spine. And then imagine that it's traveling up the spine until it reaches the crown of your head. And then exhale, send the breath back down. Let it connect and root you into the ground. And you'll take the next few cycles of breath just like that. Just focus on the inhale, drawing up the spine. And then let it touch the crown of the head or maybe flirt leaving the crown of the head. And then exhale, bring it back down. Next um, inhale you take, you still allow it to travel up the spine, but as it's coming up from the base of the spine, expand the belly. And then start expanding the chest. And then the upper chest. And then take in a little more air, it should reach the top of the head and then slowly, carefully exhale, allow the chest to slowly come in, rib cage knit in, and then belly button come in, nice straight spine. So focus on that for the next few cycles of breath, just creating some expansion with the inhale. And then maintain the integrity as you exhale. And you can keep the expansion with the inhale if you would like, or you can drop it, but keep the long, deep, robust inhale. 
so that your exhale can still stay strong. Your, your, your structure still stays strong. Three more breaths like this. And then slowly reach the arms up high to the sky. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Keeping the sit bones rooted down, slide the shoulders away, down and away from the ears. And then fold forward. And um, you can let the fingertips touch first. And you can stay on fingertips and then fold down. And stay here just for 10 deep cycles of breath. Two more breaths. As you inhale, slowly bring yourself up and walk your hands in just about halfway. Come up halfway. And then roll over onto your shins. Place the palms onto the mat and then walk yourself long. So now you are prone or face down onto the mat. Okay. Your legs and your torso are gonna to be grounded for a little bit. So have the legs come out about hip distance apart. Maybe feel the tops of the feet onto the mat, rock the hips from side to side, and then maybe tilt the pelvis forward and back. So um you should feel your hip bones touch the mat and maybe even a little bit of the pubic bone here and then have the elbows underneath the shoulders forearms rest palms spread nice and wide so it's fun to rock back onto the heels lift and spread the fingers and then set them down one finger one digit at a time and then have a soft gaze down and then as you inhale slowly look up pull the heart forward for um, a sphinx pose. And um, you're here for five deep cycles of breath. And I just want you to be mindful that you're not clenching in your glutes. So if you are, you might have to lower down just a little bit, okay? And pull the heart forward. One more big breath. I 
And then grab a hold of opposite elbows with your hands. So have the right hand reach over for the left elbow, left hand for the right elbow. And then walk that elbows to the top of the mat just a little bit here. You'll come into a seal pose, which is the palms of the mat and coming up. But for this, actually let's come into a traditional seal just so you can feel it. So rest the palms down, slowly push yourself up. And if it feels a little wonky, come down, elbows come in a little bit, then push yourself up. Or if you feel like you can go deeper. So you're setting up this foundation here. Try to remember where the hands are. Take one more breath here. And then you'll lower down slowly and you'll cross the, bring the left hand in and then cross the right hand on top and then push yourself up that way. So the elbows will stay planted. That's kind of how you know where you need to be. And then push yourself up and try to keep the palms planted. This is where coming into the deep cycle of breath, especially in the upper chest will serve you because you have a little internal rotation going on in the shoulders. So that deep breath will be met with some resistance. And that's okay because with each inhale, you're flirting around with um, extending some of the connective tissue or playing around with some of the connective tissue. So stay here for like three more deep cycles of breath. one. And then inhale, press the palms up and then slowly lower down as you exhale. Step palms on top of each other and rest the forehead onto the mat. Stay in this crocodile pose now just for a few cycles of breath so you can turn the heels in if you would like toes out. One more big breath. And then after you complete your exhale, place the tops of the feet onto the mat and slowly bring yourself up. Okay, you'll come into a prone tree. So bring the right foot to the inside of the left leg, your choice on how high. So the right knee is coming out to the side and See if you can have the entire left foot connect to the left leg. And then slowly and carefully press your palms up. Thread your left arm underneath your right and set the left side of your face down. So now you're in this twisted tree and you have a little bit of compression going on on your left shoulder. So you can have the left palm down or left palm up. And drop back into the deep cycles of breath here, just like this. Next, if you want, you can reach your right arm up and towards a back pocket of the low back, or you can reach the right arm open just a little bit more, um, giving some length into the spiral line of the front body. And you are here for 10 deep cycles of breath.
full inhale. And exhale. Slowly bring yourself prone or face down onto your mat so the right palm touches. And you push yourself up and slowly de-thread, place the elbows back onto the mat, and then extend your right leg long once again. So you return back into the Sphinx pose just for a brief moment so you can reset. Thing shift. And then when you're ready, set yourself back up for the, the X arm seal. So remember where you placed your palms in your seal pose. This time you'll bring the right hand over to meet the left hand and then the left hand crosses on top of the right. Slide the shoulders down and away from the ears and then slowly push yourself up as you inhale, dropping into your deep breath for five deep cycles of breath. One more breath. Lower down. Return to the crocodile pose. Turning the heels in. Forehead rest on stacked palm. And then slowly bring yourself up and you'll set yourself up for your uh, prone tree left side. So bring the left foot into the right leg. Any height works, but just have the, uh, um, try to keep the left foot touching the right thigh or right leg somewhere. Okay. And then you'll push yourself up gently, plant the left palm. Thread the right arm underneath and set the right side of the face down. Once again, you play around palm up or palm down. If you're left, it doesn't matter what you did with your left palm. This is a new, new hand, new arm. So kind of pick what works for you, palm up or palm down. Then drop into your deep cycle of breath. And then reach your left arm up high, place the left hand into your back pocket or open the left arm, open up the, the, the body, open up the spiral line. And once again, there might be a difference between the left and the right because of how you're rotating your spine. So this side may look different. Find the sweet spot and now drop in for 10 deep cycles of breath.
Two more big breaths. And then slowly and carefully bring your left arm up and back to the mat. And then de-thread your right arm. Set both forearms onto the mat. Extend the left leg long and drop back into your crocodile pose here. So zipping the legs together, the heels touch, the toes turn out, and the forehead touches the top of your hands. Dropping in for five deep cycles of breath. And then place the tops of the feet onto the mat. Place the palms underneath the shoulders and push yourself up gently so that the bum is coming onto the heels. Just briefly, this is gonna be a transition. So you can come up nice and tall and then bring the legs out to the side as you bring the bum down. So let's bring the bottoms of the feet together in a butterfly pose. Hold to the bottoms of the feet. Sit up nice and tall. Three more breaths. Maybe you, you return back to that anchoring breath. And then slowly and carefully leave your right leg where it's at. And then I want you to bring the left knee in, setting up for your deer pose. So you can place the left foot flat onto the mat, kind of heel toe out and then drop the left knee down. And then you can play around here too with having the left heel away or closer to the glutes. It's kind of like your pick what feels good. And then if you have a bolster or a pillow handy, um, take it over to the right side. Okay, so you're up nice and tall in your deer pose. You kind of have your feet figured out. Nice straight spine, reach the arms up high, fingers are wide, take up space. And then as you exhale, slowly rotate the torso over to the right fold forward and walk the hands down. If you've used a bolster, you can um, place the left or the right side of the face onto the mat. And then drop into 10 deep cycles of breath.
Two more breaths. Let your next inhale slowly walk you up. And then exhale at the top. Inhale, slowly unwind. You can bring your arms with you or not. And then exhale, give yourself a gentle counter twist to the left. You're here for five breaths. And remember, you have a little bit of the internal rotation going on on the right side. So really drop into the deep breath. Last breath. And then carefully guide your torso back to center. And then extend your left leg in front of you. And then adjust your right foot so if you notice you're in a seated tree pose. Push out through the heel. Have your leg more at the 12 o'clock spot if we were on a clock. If you really wanted to, maybe you could take it out to 11 or 12, but keep it at, or 11 or 10, but keep it at 12 here. All right, so root back down on your sit bones, reach your arms up high. Remember, fingers spread nice and wide. Okay, you stay here for a cycle of breath so you can slide the scapulas down and away from the ears. And then look at your feet, spread your toes, and line your second toe up best as can be with the knee. Best as can be. Sometimes we're really tight in the calf and it's not possible. Okay. Full inhale, give yourself some length. And then as you exhale, fold forward. So you might be framing your left leg or not. Try not to let that be an issue. Just allow your hands to land wherever. Keep pushing out through the heel. Try to keep the toes up. Sit bones rooted and grounded. Shoulders slide down and away from the ears. And then you fold as deeply as you would like. So if you're tight in the low back, you might want to stay high. And then slowly play around with dropping in deeper. Ten big breaths here. Two more breaths. Take your last exhale here. 
And slowly walk yourself up as you inhale, coming up nice and tall. And then bring the left foot to meet the right foot, butterfly pose again. And you can take a hold of the bottoms of the feet, sit up nice and tall. Once again, drop into those deep cycles of breath you created in the beginning for five breaths. Last breath. And then you'll place the right foot down and slowly walk the right foot out. So you can set yourself up for deer pose. And be gentle because where the left foot was on the left side, the right foot may not be in equanimity. So figure out where that right where your right foot needs to be. And once again, the bolster can come over towards your left side. Okay, and then situate yourself so you're rooted and grounded. Um, your right hip bone may come up, your sit bone may come up as you rotate over towards the left, but try to keep it reaching down, okay? Reach the arms up high, spread the fingers nice and wide. Shoulders drop down and away from the ears. Inhale, create your length. Exhale, rotate and release down. Then you just suss around for the next breath to figure out where the hands need to be. Where your face needs to be. All right, let's drop in for 10 deep cycles of breath. Two more big breaths. Just 
Slowly bring yourself up as you inhale. You can bring the arms up with you if you would like, but rotate over towards your right side for a counter twist. Five breaths. Last breath. And then let your next it exhale bring you back to center. Extend your right leg long. Place your left foot inside of your right leg so you're in your seated tree. And then you kind of gauge your leg towards 12, maybe towards 1. Adjust your sit bones, adjust your legs, get your foundation good, then reach your arms up high, fingers spread nice and wide, and then you settle here for the exhale, sliding the shoulders down and away from the ears, lining your second toe up best as can be with the knee. Inhale, create your length, and then fold forward gently as you exhale. Just allow your hands to land wherever, Try to keep your shoulders dropping down and away from the ears. And then you fold to where you need to be or you come up a little higher. You have 10 breaths. Two more breaths. After your second exhale, slowly bring yourself back up. So you're sitting up nice and tall. And then extend your left leg long here. The legs are about hip distance apart. The heels are still pushing out. The toes are still up. Have your grounding foundation. Reach your arms up, up high to the sky. Fingers spread nice and wide. Exhale, stay. Inhale, create your length. And then fold forward as you exhale, coming into your caterpillar pose. Um, here, have your hands touch somewhere onto your legs and on your body. Create this connection. Your goal is to keep pushing out through the heels, second toe in line with the knee, and then you fold to your best degree. Ten big breaths here. And the one thing I really want you to focus on is this practice so far, you've been breathing into the belly, the rib cage, and the upper. This time, try to focus on breathing into the back body as well. See if you can take up a little space.
Take a full inhale. Slow exhale. Use your inhale to slowly walk yourself up. Great. Bring your feet flat onto the mat and hug the knees into your chest, sitting up nice and tall. And then slowly lower down one vertebra at a time. So the back of the head is the last thing that touches your mat. Okay. When you land, what I want you to do is to heel toe the feet out the width of your mat. And then um, just for right now, you can bring the knees up, kind of lift the heels, spread the toes and set the feet down. And then you can knock the knees together. And then coming up to the pelvis, maybe you tilt the pelvis a little bit towards the face or away, but you can find the back hips or the back pelvis kind of connect. And then working up the, the torso, up the back, maybe shift around a little bit, and then coming to the shoulder blades, sliding your shoulder blades down and away from the ears, maybe even scooping the shoulder blades in towards the spine, just a little bit. And then give yourself some length and then rock your head from side to side. And then the arms come out to the side. You can have palms up to start for um, a little external rotation. You'll feel the pecs opening. Or palms down if you want a little grounding. Okay, and then take your arms out to a T. Whatever you've chosen for your hands, palms up or palms down, whatever's fine because it's anchoring you, it's keeping your integrity. All right, have your knees come up to the sky. Take your full inhale. Allow your knees to fall over to the right as you exhale. Allow the legs to land wherever. Um, when you were seated, this was deer pose. This is just a supine twist. Um, so if you want your right foot to touch your left, you can, or maybe you even set the right foot on top of the left, your choice. You can keep the gaze up towards the sky, or you can look out over the left shoulder. You're here for 10 deep cycles of breath, so breathe deep and wide, take up space.
Slowly bring your gaze back to center. Let your next inhale, whenever that is, guide your knees back up, feet flat. Knock your knees in here and stay. This is a reset point. And then bring your knees back up towards the sky, feet flat. Take your full inhale. Allow your knees to fall over towards the left side as you exhale. Take any variation with the feet that you would like. Once your legs are landed and anchored, that's when you decide to take the gaze out over the right shoulder or keep it up high to the sky. and drop in for 10 deep cycles of breath. Two more breaths. Let your next Inhale, bring your gaze back into center. And then slowly and carefully bring the feet flat, knees up, knock the knees in. And then heel toe the feet in about hips distance apart and then invite the knees in, give them a hug and a squeeze. Gently rocking from side to side. And then extend one leg long, followed by the other. Setting yourself up for your Shavasana or corpse pose. Okay, so Reach your arms up overhead. And I want you to give yourself a nice full body stretch where you're reaching maybe just the right fingertips away from the toe, right toes. And then release. And then switch sides. So reach the left fingertips away and then release and then reach both sets of fingertips away from the toes. 
And then bring your arms down to the side as you exhale. Allow your feet to splay out. Just give some softness in the legs, the knees. And then because your feet are splayed out, you should have a natural external rotation going on in the hips. But adjust a little bit here if you feel like one hip is rolling in more than the other. And then even um, tilt the pelvis back and forward just a little bit, giving yourself some space in your low back. And then work back up your spine, reset, feel the connection with the scapulas onto the mat, and even rock the head from side to side. And then I want you to drop back into those deep cycles of breath. So as you're inhaling here, you push the belly up, you expand the rib cage, and even breathe into the upper chest. And then you anchor back as you exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. If you want, keep the deep cycles of breath or fall into a natural rhythm, but focus on your breath and I will call you back. Take a nice full inhale in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Just with the thumbs, the pad of the thumbs, brush them along your fingers. And then maybe with the next cycle of breath, you make some circles with the ankles or the wrist. And then find some stillness. Reach the arms up overhead as you inhale. And rotate over towards your right side as you exhale, settling into your child or your fetal position.
And then when you feel ready, use your left palm to push yourself up, coming up into a seated pose. Just place your palms onto your thighs. Sit up back nice and tall, maybe returning back to your deep breath. And then reach your arms up overhead, bring your palms together in prayer, and then your prayer into heart center with a soft bow. I honor this place inside of me in which the entire universe dwells. It is a place of tranquility, it is a place of calm, and it is a place of peace. And when I am in this place in me and you are in this place in you, together we are one. Namaste.